Yo, what's going on, guys? Today, I'm going to be showing you the best class setup in the game right now. These are both of the best guns that all the pro players are using. And I also got you guys a crazy 20 kill gameplay using these in solos myself, testing them out for you guys. And I try really hard for y'all. So make sure to leave a like, man, because this is a crazy gameplay. So, heading straight into the attachments, y'all. First up, we're going to be using is the GPR 91. And I'm going to show you the 5 attachment and the 8 attachment build. So for the optic right now, what everybody's using is the one right here called the Jason Armory 2X. For the muzzle, we're going to be throwing on the ported compensator. This is the best one for recoil control right now. For the barrel, the pro players are using the reinforced barrel on all of their guns right now. And personally, I think it's good. I don't have it unlocked right now, but I was using the long barrel in this gameplay to give me that max damage range because these guns really don't kill that good at long range. Then, for the underbarrel to give us a little bit more recoil control, we're going to throw on the vertical foregrip. And then finally, for the magazine, we're going to throw on extended mag 2 to give us that 60 round clip. Now, if you want to make this gun have even less recoil, you could throw on gunfighter and then go back in here. You don't really have to do this because there's only one good attachment you're getting out of it. But the firing mod, you want to throw on recoil springs, and this is going to make this gun have a lot less recoil. But, I mean, it's already pretty good as it is. You don't really need to do all this. And then for the stock, you're going to throw on balance stock. This is just going to give you that extra movement speed to get around the map. It's also going to make you faster when you aim in. And then for the rear grip, we're going to throw on quick draw grip so we can aim in a little bit faster and just gun people down. So next up, guys, we're going to be using the PP919. This SMG... It's crazy right now. Like, the other gun I just showed you, that's the best assault rifle. And it's it's a little bit better than everything else. But this SMG is way better than everything else. So, you don't need an optic for it. This gun has the best iron sights you'll ever see. I'm sure most of you have picked it up off the ground already and know that. But, for the muzzle, everybody's using a suppressor to stay off the radar a little bit. Because it already has low recoil. I mean, if you want to do the recoil route, you could throw in a compensator. But, make sure to throw in that suppressor. Next up for the barrel... We're going to be using the long barrel because bullet velocity is not that important for an SMG. You're not really taking long range fights, but if you do want to hit somebody a little further away, you want to kill them fast. So throw in the long barrel. Next up for the magazine, this gun comes with 64 bullets as it is. And that's a little bit too much ammo and it slows you down. So everybody's throwing the fast mags. So you still get 50 bullets, but you're going to aim in a lot faster and you're going to move around a lot quicker and reload faster. Then... For the rear grip, we're going to throw on commando grip so that we can aim in a little bit faster and come out of sprints uh, faster as well. Another good choice is the ergonomic grip, but uh, I think commando is the way to go for this one. And then finally for the stock, we're going to be throwing on no stock. This is the best stock in the game. I also see people using infiltrator, but no stock. It gives you so much movement speed, man. That's the class setup, guys. For this gun, you do not need eight attachments. It's really useless to put eight attachments on this gun. You don't need the laser. You don't need more recoil control or anything. It's good as it is. So those are both of the class setups. And like I said, guys, I, I go super try hard mode for y'all to get this 20 kill game. I, I'm really proud of it. Make sure to stick around and watch it, man. Leave a like on the video. Let me know what you think, guys, and what uh, class setups you want to see next. I appreciate y'all. Let's get into it. Hostile UAV in the area. PP. <clears throat> God, Enemy UAV over here. Got the PPE, let's go. Hostile UAV in the area. Gonna take your kill real quick. Enemy movement. <laughs> Thank you. 
I've got a gold one. Clear another target during contract timeline. I like that guy's name, Pop Out and Show. That's an awesome name. Targets eliminated. Soldier incoming. Contract worth more than usual, so get it done, soldier. Only 25 remain. UAV is online. Enemy counter UAV inbound. You've got gas moving in. Priority 
Tasking request received. Why is he laying like that? Yo, what? Pressure on. We've got ten squads active in the field. Heads up, an enemy squad marked you as a bounty target. UAV available for tasking. UAV standing by. Fire fails done. Prices are back to normal. UAV available for tasking. Enemies are dropping into the area. Watch the skies. operational in the AO. Overlord, bingo fuel. Returning to base. You're losing ground. Move it. Enemy UAV overhead. Three squads left in the war zone. Stay alert. Mission 
Timeline expired. UAV exiting the AO. Gas is closing in. Submission, take them down. The enemy is no longer tracking you. You lost them. Objective complete. 